hi everyone hope you're all doing well welcome back to my youtube channel so guys thank you so much for subscribing and also watching my videos i do really appreciate well today i want to show you what we use for treatment in my village and you may find that one half heals more than one disease Guys, number one is here. It's called the bitter leaf. As you have fever, we mix it with water and then ash. Then we squeeze out the juice. That juice is the one which you take to get rid of that that fever. So, guys, our next hub here, we call it. Okay, yeah, you, this one. Once you break your your leg or hand, this is the one which we use to heal that part. We do like this. Hey, like this. And then you scrub, eh? you scrub that affected part. In the morning and in the evening. So guys, our next hub is here, this one, we locally call it kafumbe, and once you have that ringworm, you mix this with paraffin, and then you rub the affected part every day time, you get rid of that ringworm. Mm. So guys, for this one, we call it a chiondo in our local language. When you have a wound, you put, you get this, this leaf, you place it on fire, and then you squeeze out the juice, then you place it on that wound. It, it's also put on the umbilical cord of the newborn baby, so that that opening, once the cord is off, so that that opening heals faster. This is called hibiscus. When when you don't have enough blood, you boil warm water, then you wait for it to cool off, and then you mix it with water, and then you take, you mix this one with that water, that boiled water, and then you take. This is how it looks. So guys, for this one, we call it kamnye in our local language. You you boil water together with it, and then you drink. It it relieves ulcer pains, and also when the mother gives birth to a baby, in order to cleanse the body, she has to take this, the kamnye, when it's boiled. Yes, this is called the black jack or sele and once you cut your let me say your finger in order to stop the bleeding you apply this the black jack I'm not sure whether you're seeing it guys we call this one a chewamala when you have cough you get ash, you mix it with this one plus water and then you squeeze out the juice. That juice is the one which you take. It's called the chewamala in our local language. This, one, this is how it looks like. So guys, we also have this aloe vera here. It helps get rid of the cough even skin rashes 
what else plus fever also we call it techigaji in our local language here these ones eh? we call them katunkuma See, once you take them they keep the blood pressure stable these ones <laughs> called the basil uh, it helps to get rid of stomach ache also have this one it helps to get rid of headache strong headache we call it a chifumu fum in our language you can let me know how you call it in your local language that's how it looks like so guys we also have this one we call it H1 Kulata in our language. When you have cramps, you mix it with water, boiled water, and then you take the juice. It also relieves ulcer pains. What else? Plus even cough and fever. This one, you can let me know how you call it in your language. This one. So guys, these ones are pumpkin leaves. Once you have a strong headache, you put it together with water and then you squeeze out the juice. Then you pour that juice into your head every day, morning and evening. With time, you will be fine. So guys, this is our traditional tobacco. This one and once a snake bites you this is what you take you chew it and you take the juice this one once a snake bites you the tobacco so guys there's also this one and it's taken for high blood pressure i don't know how it's called in english but if you know you can let us know thank you for watching the video